oh, here we go again. Look, I haven't used any cooking. I could have used my cooking for that fight as well. <laughs> right, have I... That's everything. I'm, I'm tempted just to... Just to buy these. It's a lot of money, but... I'd rather be f fully stocked up. Right, okay. Um, she's not wearing her best item. Yeah, we should be using that. But let me just check if there's any skills that are needing. No, she's learnt everything. Have you learnt everything? Yeah. And you using the best things? Oh, right, I need to do the ox. Let's just swap out the ox. She needs. She doesn't learn any of them. We'll keep her on the chain whip. Right. Is that our best team? No. See, I don't really. I might have the doggy in. hate the end game side quests what, what why what don't you like about them kaiser i'm just gonna go out of town so i can save if it lets me no can't believe they dropped me in the middle of a spider nest full of level 90 plus monsters and said good luck <laughs> you don't have to do them You can just leave them on the side. That's a bit uh, a bit unfair then. Can you not know just run away and leave that one for later? So I'm just toning down my camera. can't pet the cart. Wait, this is the inn. I can't get to the inn. You must not be taken in by the knights. They only plan to crush this town once you've all been lured into a false sense of safety. On the honor of the Imperial Knights, I swear that we would never perpetrate such disloyalty. You're Flynn Shifo. The Empire and the Union have joined in a treaty of friendship. What? Impossible. You're doing it, even if it took you 10 plus minutes to kill one spider. <laughs> How many spiders is there? <laughs> At this moment, Don Whitehorse and His Highness Yoder are in council together. It's only a matter of time until it's made official. But how? I thought that cursed Alexei was tied up in other matters. Yes, it is true that our Commandant could only make a brief appearance before returning to the capital. Oh, it's not too bad. 10 plus. Then... On whose authority? It's when they start having little baby spiders and there's masses of them that then you panic. No! This can't mean my plans have been ruined by this... this boy! I take that back. <laughs> 
This will put an end to the suffering of the people of Capua Nor as well. Here's hoping the next magistrate they get is more of a stand-up guy. Sponge enemies make you quit a game, you don't have the time. I will do what I can to make sure a worthy person is chosen when I get back to the castle. To the castle? You mean you're going back to the capital, Estelle? No, don't leave us. With Rago gone, the rest of the castle should have returned to normal. But you don't really want to go back. What do you mean? I can see it in your face. No, I... Well, you should do what suits you best. You've made up your own mind, right? I will go back. I don't want Flynn or anyone else to have to worry about me anymore. We weren't worried. You were the, you were the one that was keeping us alive. It's gonna be lonely without her, won't it, Repeat? <laughs> right, let me get to this inn. So I can save. Okay. Okay. So has she left us now? I didn't say she'd left us. So, right. I guess we're going back to the castle. Is over there. And where are we just now? Mm. Okay, let's head out of town. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Um, nothing you there, though, is there? We're meant to be heading back to Dengrist, so let's just head back to Dengrist. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm beat. You guys had a long day. Let's rest at the end. <laughs> let's go back to the inn. Your name? Four hundred gold. Chahusho. Chahusho. Yuri, it's terrible. What's terrible? Yeah, I'm doing better now. My my head isn't as sore. I think the painkillers have kicked in. My back's not quite as bad. You're doing good. That's fine. Everybody. Oh, oh well, man. Just let me sleep. How's your factorio going? Rago! He, he... I noticed my son's been... No, he is no, What's he been playing? Oh, Satisfactory he's been playing. What did Rago do? They say he used his standing in the council to reduce his charges. It looks like he's going to get off with only a minor drop in rank after everything he did. Oh, no. This has got to be a joke. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, Skosh. It's not a joke. It's the truth. So this is how the Empire works now, huh? Damn it, this is not funny. What do we do, Yuri? Hmm. I don't know. How can he not get punished? Wait, if we tell Estelle, maybe she can do something about it. 
Hey, don't go giving the princess too much trouble. <laughs> Damn it. What's Flynn doing anyway? Yeah, I th see, I, that's... You're the same as me, Kaiser. Um, I I tend to... I always get sore heads if I... Haven't had coffee for... For a little while. I wonder if he's at his post right now. Parted with everyone. Oh no. Who did he want to go and see? Oh, Flynn. Doesn't anyone knock anymore? It's a tent. How can you knock? You knew I'd be coming. That outfit. As of today, I've been assigned the post of captain. Oh, nice armor. It works all the time, does it, okay? Uh, you only have coffee when you're having a headache. So, the birth of the Flynn Brigade, huh? Looks like I've been one-upped again. We were around at my uh, mum's last night for supper, so I didn't have to cook. <laughs> so that was fine. If that's how you feel, you should come back to the Knights. You'd be able to... Don't waste your breath. Congratulations on making Captain. Thank you. You didn't come down here to celebrate my promotion. No, I didn't. Yeah, I treat coffee more as a, a, a hug in a mug. I enjoy my coffee, so. It's Rago, isn't it? Appropriating Nor Harbor for his own purposes, committing treason by his collusion with Barbos. Add to this stealing from the populace and the extermination of even his own people simply because he didn't like them. The people he killed were either fed to monsters or sold to those who will pay money for corpses. Sick bastard. That he should be able to do those things and not have to answer for them. The authority of the council is far more powerful than I'd imagined. I thought with this promotion to captain that I'd gotten a bit closer to my goal. But I have to face the fact that the law can't even punish a single person like Rago. You know it doesn't end here. There's always people like that, isn't there? They get off with everything. You'll climb even higher until you can make the right changes. True. But many people will continue to suffer in the meantime, needlessly. When I consider that, I... Don't go flying off the handle and smacking him around. <laughs> the progress you've made would all be for nothing. If he's above you, you go even higher, and then... Yes. Someday I'll create a legal order that treats everyone with equality. I have to. He's a bit like Iron Man, isn't he, with this thing in the middle of his chest? Good. And I'll do things my own way. Yeah, like carrying your sword like a handbag. Yuri? How would you go about punishing the villains that the law can't touch? I'm still trying to figure that out. Oh, look, he's paying people off. It seems I may have gotten a little careless when I thought Alexei wouldn't be around. Flynn Shifo, that impertinent upstart. This is a grudge I won't soon forget. I will bring down the full authority of the council on you. Ah! <laughs> what the? It's you. Do you intend to harm me? I'm a member of the council, you know. 
I could crush you with a single command. You won't get away with this. The laws and the council may have let you go, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Ah, st stay back! Oh, I was so close. De nomos. Yuri's in trouble now. Repeat. A vigilante and sinful sidekick. Oh, that's some fancy coach. It's too bad we gotta split up. Please, come visit the castle any time. You'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Rago to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. He's already dead now. Princess, you should know. What? You see... Lord Rago has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. His whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe He's he got dead. scared and ran away. Well, I guess I'll be going too. I want to check out stuff like those air credits. When I finish my analysis, I'll um pay a visit to the capital too. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, okay then. See ya. So who are we going to have left on our team? from here. We've got a cart on the window. Oh, which cart's that? Oh, it's Luna. Luna's on the window. Hey, Sophia. It's going okay. I'm, well, I, I was, I'm doing better than I was first thing this morning, but I'm fine now. How are you today? Yeah, I, my, my voice is very croaky today. <laughs> I had a slight sore throat yesterday morning, but it was okay after that. But it's all croaky today. So, how are you? I want to start up a guild with Yuri. That sounds like a good idea. Your Highness. I had a sore head and a sore back this morning as well. I had a sore back the whole of yesterday. I've had plenty of painkillers today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ready now. Shouldn't I go get Yuri? No, I wouldn't want to wake him. All right. Well, this is it. Yeah, I hope we see each other again. Oh, 
So you do. Yuri, are you awake? That's from the shout out. Bunsanti. Isn't it? It obviously couldn't find the page or something. It's upset, yeah. But it needs a hug. <laughs> Why is that not working? I'll just get rid of it just now. Because <laughs> if I put it back in, it's just going to be showing that, isn't it? Oh no, it's that way again. They must be having issues at their site, I guess. Is it work? Is it? Let me. Let me. Let me just do it. <clears throat> Is it doing that again? Mm. Yeah, they've got problems at their site. Okay, I'll just leave it turned off just now. You can still do shout outs, it just won't play a video. You can still just do the normal shout out, um, Kaiser. I've switched off that. The actual clip. Uh, their sight must be down. That's okay. Uh, let me just change it, I'll switch it off on the other one as well. Uh, So it doesn't display there. Okay. Thank you, Vincente. I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> Estelle and Rita already took off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's not bothered. If you hurry, you might still be able to catch her. I can meet them anytime I want. Jeez, Yuri. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Even if I did go, it would just make it harder for them to leave. What the? What was that? What blew up? Something's blown up. Monsters. Monsters again? Yuri! Ooh, look at that. Any idea what that thing is? No, I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down! <sighs> Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! A bit frantic music, isn't it? One mess after another. Just when I get to relax, I get dragged into another mess. Yuri, fate really is out to get you. Hey, it's not all my fault. You had a role in this too. But I never ran into gigantic monsters or got arrested by knights before I met you. Which well, thing do I normally have the camera on this game? Capital with Estelle. So that means... Drop it. Keep moving. R right. <laughs> right, I'd really like to save. Can I just go back in here? Don't tell me I'm not allowed to save. No, I can save. Right. Uh, so we have to play him. No, don't like playing him. I guess we'll have to. Um. These are, um... I wonder if I take these away. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just leave them as they are. Okay. I guess we're playing him then. For a bit.
It's almost like a f mix between a phoenix and a dragon, isn't it? What is going on here? Yuri, protect her highness. Yuri, look. Oh, she hasn't left. This way, fell fiend. Why is it just ignoring us? Is it coming for me? Oh no, it's going to kidnap Estelle. The Commandant. But why is he here? Our finest knights. I am left with no choice. We will stop this beast with the help of Heracles. Who's Heracles? Yuri, wait! There's nothing more you can do! Huh. You expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. Mm -hmm. It can speak! Who... who are you? Yuri! You're safe. City and continue my journey. Okay, so Heracles is that big tank thing. What do you mean? If you're going back to the capital, you shouldn't keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I. So that's the sort of end of the first part of the game, first chapter, I think. So we're about a third the way through the game. Now that's what I wanted to hear. I know the bridge is out. Judith? Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Huh? Why is it taking off? This destroyed the bridge. That's probably all it came for. Here comes the cavalry. I'm sorry, Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Your Highness! What's that? Oh, that's the... Flynn, get this core back to the yeah. lower quarter. Yuri! I, I hope he caught it. the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way. Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess? Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us.
Seeker of the Truth. Um, can I can I save it there? Um, I, I, used, I don't know if you're still there, Sophia. We've got um, is he outside? I can't see him. Where is he? Oh, he must have come back in. Oh no, there we go. I can see something there. <laughs> I think he's in in his cart here. Barnes been in and out of his cart here a lot <laughs> since we showed him where the hatch was. I think he's in there. I can see. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, I can see him there. I can just see a bit of movement. Oh, here he comes. Look, he's coming up the ramp. It's not a fixed ramp yet. Oh, I'm digging. Oh, he's moving the ramp. What's he trying to do? <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm trying to get out. Look. I'm trying to dig my way out to the cart here. Oh, now I'm attacking the mesh. I stopped for a bit. No, I'll be okay. I'll keep the I'll keep the camera up so I can see him. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. Right. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got Estelle back. Who else have we got? We've got Judith. I guess we're got I don't. I guess we're playing Yuri just now. We'll leave it to that team. Uh, we've got Skit. That huge flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing at Karabakram, and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. Okay, so we've got new creatures around here. Um, do we know where we're going? You're jumping back to these side quests. Yeah, good luck, Kaiser. I hope it goes okay. Swap my team around slightly. I'm gonna put. I like to have like a stell over there. My healer. Oh. I know we gotta get out of town, but I'm dying here. So um, why is Judith coming along with us anyway? With the circumstances being what they are. This is just how things turned out. 
I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. Okay, so we're going to Heliord. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving. This Judith got the right um, skills. Nothing she's needing to learn. Oh, she's trying to learn that, right? Um, okay, we should have that back on. Doesn't do as much damage, but I'd rather the. She got the skill. So we're trying to get to Heliord. Uh, which we oh there right we've just come from there so we need to go down south east hey you mind if I ask a question I need to be sure of something what is it that big monster we saw it was talking right like our language yes I heard it with my own ears you all heard it too I guess it wasn't my imagination after all. Who's ever heard of a monster that speaks a human language? Just what is that monster? Ooh. Piece of cake! Don't get careless. Wait, do we have everything? Yeah. I'm gonna go after this dude. Across this river? Oh, there's a bridge. Is that going the right way there? Using most of his mana up. I just had some cough sweeties built on my desk. Oh, right. Is it this place around here? How do we get around to that? <laughs> it's probably a good time. Looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. When we have time to take a longer rest, we've got to decide a few things about our guild. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big. And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves. That way... I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city. That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? 
The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. That's like, um... The f three musketeers, isn't it? All for one and one for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes, you've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws. For the guild's sake, and my own. Oof. How about your partner? <laughs> Thanks for your concern, but it's alright. He won't mind. Your partner? The dog. The friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh. I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay. So from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too. Then I... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. I guess we're talking to everybody. Oh, Yuri. Hey, you're not asleep? No. Is something the matter? No. I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really gonna put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just gonna go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. I'm a bit jealous. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> He also wants her in. How can I decide? What? You're not asleep? Nah. I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. I'm gonna think of something really cool. Sure. I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh well, no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. I'm really exact happy same that ones. I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What now? <clears throat> I thought of a name! The super ultra courageous braves. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that then. Right. Right. 
Let's go talk to Judith. Thanks. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Nah, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. It's Hello, lovely. your pocket. Good boy. Sure. Lovely. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. Wait, can we, can we leave this bit? Or can I save here? No, I can't save here. Can we leave? There's no point going out there alone. Are you going to come and join? Or do we rest at the campfire? No. Oh, I forgot to talk to the doggy. Repeat. You're keeping watch too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. <laughs> you should get some rest too. Right, are we going to be allowed out now? No. So how do we leave this place? Have I missed somebody? No. Anyway, I have to give my answer, don't I? Let's give it all we've got. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? Okay, let's rest. All right, I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you going to do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. Don't that treat, Baron? Yeah. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. Who that does know monster. His name is Pharaoh. Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Because of the dragon, because she was riding the dragon. Where did you see it? It was on the Desire continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desire. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kogor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist. 
but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. <laughs> well, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope, no exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way we can all continue the journey. All right, super ultra courageous braves, fall out! That's not a very slip off the tongue name for a guild, is it? What is that? Huh? That's our guild's name! We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real sense. Exactly. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star. Cool! Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it. Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat. We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier. Okay. Let me just write down where we're going before I forget. We're going to Torum Harbor. I need to get a boat. And we're going, then we're heading off to Desir. Okay. Hey, I think Barnes gone back out, but my camera has decided not to, not to pick anything up. No. Never mind. Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Ah, uh, who needs it? <laughs> Either way, we can't get to Torm without passing through Halyard. Okay. So we need to go to Halyard first. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Alright, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Eh, uh, Brave Vesperia leader title. Maybe we should change our titles. Uh, not that it seems to do much, does it? It's not in there, so it's in here. Uh, Vigilante, that was his new one. Uh, he had Sinful Sidekick. You can be the leader. Seeker of the Truth. Blastia Hunter. Beautiful Lancer. The Great Lancer. Okay. Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. I quit the Knights to find my own way of doing things. But I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Nothing that guy says could get to me. 
<laughs> he doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No. Okay, so... We are headed... To... Heliard first. Okay, so... Still heading in sort of the, this direction. So it's over here. Must be up through here. from the monster's attack. I wonder if Dongrest is all right. It seems that some people were injured too. The place was crawling with knights. I think they can handle things from here. Plus the Dons and Dongrest and all the guild members are really tough. Flynn would catch us if we went back now and that'd be the end of your travels. You're right. I'll put my trust in the Imperial Knights and the guilds. I decided I'm going with you and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, we're not going here. Yeah. Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. Who? What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Who are they talking about? Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. Oh, wait, okay. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well, come on, we should hurry to the inn. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache, and I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! Aye, <laughs> aye, Captain. Alright, let's go to the inn. Um, is this the inn? Yeah. May as well save. See if there's anything we can buy. Synthesize. We've oh, got some new weapons then. Okay. 